Prince. We're looking at the Dirty Mind album, 35 years old this month. We're looking at the seventh song called Sister. Now before I start, I'd just like to point out this is probably the most controversial song Prince has ever done, dealing with the subject of incest. This is um, not for the faint-hearted. Um, this is incredibly controversial. Um, this is only 93 seconds long, just you know, 1 minute 33, really, really short song. And this is a song that Prince has played live. He played it on the Love Sexy tour and the kind of first half of the tour, which is kind of the sexual side of the tour, and then it went on to the sort of spiritual side of the tour. But this is just remarkably dark in lots of ways. Prince has done dark songs before. You perhaps think of Papa from the album Come when he talks about um, child abuse. But this is incredibly dark. And I think there's a certain element to this as well about, which we'll get into, a, a, a kind of which makes it even darker than perhaps I kind of first you know, imagined. Anyway, the lyrics, just, wow, okay. <laughs> I can only read them as they are. I, said, I was only 16, but I guess that's no excuse. My sister was 32, lovely and loose. She don't wear no underwear. She said only gets in her hair and has got a funny way of stopping the juice. My sister never made love to anyone else but me. She's the reason for my sexuality. She showed me where it's supposed to go. A blow job doesn't mean blow. Incest is everything it's said to be. And then it goes into the chorus of, uh, Oh sister, don't put me on the street again. Oh sister, I just want to be your friend. And I think this is the really dark point where he talks about, you know, being put on the street. And um, there's a part where he talks about, you know, um, towards the end, you know, don't put me on the street again. I just want to be your friend. I know what you want me to do. Put me on the street and make me blue. So it's kind of idea that this young prince of 16 and his sister, who's 32, I mean, this is obviously purely fictional, but he's telling the story that he's kind of almost being, you know, perhaps not threatened, but he's kind of being, he's being coerced, and if he doesn't do as his sister says, he's going to be put out onto the street, and he's got no choice, he's in this situation. It's interesting that Prince kind of uses the older woman, who's a, who's a recurring um, uh, kind of motif sometimes in Prince's work, and the more experienced woman, but this is really quite dark. I mean, to deal with this, such a taboo subject, this is... Quite interesting because there's lots of things that Prince did that were controversial at the time, and then in the modern sensibility, people go, "Oh, you know, that's quite tame compared to, you know, how it is." And there was controversy about the Love Sexy album cover and various other things. And they said, "Well, you know, now Erotic City, things like that, that looks quite, you know, relatively tame, or certainly something that, you know, wouldn't be shocking." But today, this is still shocking. This is something that's 35 years old, and still, this is a huge social taboo. There's one part where Prince just screams a verse, and it's really quite a verse. It's probably one of the, you know, the key bits you kind of remember from the song, when he talks about, I was only 16, only half a man. My sister didn't give a goddamn. She only wanted to turn me out. She took a whip and me until I shout, oh, mother effing sister, mother effing, don't you understand? And he just screams that line. And it's really just, you know, quite a shocking song still, especially when he talks about being put out on the street, that he's been kind of, you know, He's, he's uh, in this strange situation. Now, obviously, as I said, you know, this is a fictional tale. This is something that Prince has created, and some people say perhaps he did this purely for shock value, or perhaps you know this was uh, some kind of uh, notion about breaking taboos and things like that. But this song still has the power to shock. This really is the shocking, most shocking uh, element on this album, and it's only 93 seconds long. Um, this is a song like no other in the Prince. Discography. This is um, uh, quite shocking. I don't know how shocking it would have seemed at the time. I think it would have still been just as shocking, possibly even more shocking. Even with this kind of new wave, new funk, kind of uptown, you know, do whatever you want, we'll talk about anything, any sexuality, we'll talk about all sex, we'll talk about this, but to talk you know, about incest in such a way. And in such a kind of uh, personal kind of story song is really quite interesting. This is Prince really... I think as controversial as he's ever been. I don't think you've really ever seen a song as controversial as this ever since. I must also make the point that this is an incredibly brave song for Warner Brothers to put out. And Prince has said, um, you know, later on, he said that the problem with Warner Brothers was not really what he wanted to put out. It was the quantity of work he wanted to put out. And he said that Warner Brothers were initially sort of very supportive of him taking risks of putting songs out like this. I mean, this is an incredibly brave album, generally, to, for, to tell to Warner Brothers, look, here's eight songs, they're quite demo-sounding, they're quite sparse, they're about all sex, they're about incest, they're about, you know, um, really controversial themes. But um, Warner Brothers, to their credit, you know, took the risk, believed in Prince, and, uh, you know, put it out. It's actually almost easy to overlook the music in this, because this is a subject that's so controversial, you almost, 
don't really you know focus entirely on the music. The music is 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 it's great. I mean, you've got a chugging guitar that kind of propels the song along. You've got uh, choiring effects when he sort of sings sister, and that really works. You've got um, kind of uh, you know nice bass work. So I mean, it's very similar to some of the songs on, on on Dirty Mind, and it's kind of that classic Prince sound. I think almost because it's quite short, and because of the controversial nature of the lyrics, the music can very easily get overlooked. So. Um, Really fascinating song, really difficult song to talk about. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for the final track of this album, onto the eighth track called Party Up, a song which uh, we'll talk about uh, in the next video in which Morris Day came up with an idea and Prince said, I'll give you a deal. You can have $10,000 now, or I can help you get a record de deal and create a band. And that band became The Time. So we'll talk about that in the next video. See you soon.